Good morning. Good morning from my roof terrace. First off, what a view. There's the marina or the ocean. What a view. But yeah, good morning, people. We're up nice and early, and there's a reason for that. Because we are going to get today a breakfast for $1. We're getting the $1 Indian breakfast. And I don't just want to show you how good a $1 breakfast here is in India, but also how quick it arrives. So I'm going to do a bit of an experiment and I might have to hide it a little bit, but I'm going to continuously film from the moment I order it until when it comes to the table. And the average so far has been about 20 seconds. So hopefully I'll be able to show you just how quick it arrives. I think that's the more surprising thing than the actual price, but it's an amazing breakfast. It costs a dollar. So for that, we've got to head into the centre of Port Blair, which means we need to go catch the bus. Luckily, the bus that I get from here into the city is always uh, an air-conditioned bus because a lot of the roads here, and certainly the route it takes, is very windy. So it's much more of a small, it's like a, it's like a Mercedes Sprinter, but it's not, it's the Indian version. But yeah, it's always got air conditioning, which helps a lot. So a lot of the buses here, although they have amazing sound systems, and they're painted in so colorful ways, and they're full of lights, they don't always have air conditioning. But the bus that I get from here does. So yeah, we just need to catch it and ride into the city. made it back into the centre of Port Blair. Just gonna take a little walk to the restaurant where we'll get breakfast. And I wanna just tell you about a strange experience I had yesterday eating. So I was in this restaurant, the same restaurant. The majority of the restaurant had three tables. It was, I'd say half full, half empty. So I was sat at my table and I just ordered food. And then this really old couple came and sat on my table opposite me. And I could understand it if the restaurant's really full and really busy, okay. But it wasn't. So I was a bit like, uh, okay. And it was sort of fine. I didn't think too much of it until they started like spitting into their hands and stuff. And then I was a bit like, ugh. But luckily my food hadn't arrived yet. They were, just as my food was arriving, they were finishing and leaving. So I thought, cool, there we go. But then as my food arrived and they left, this other man came and sat down at my table. And again, half the restaurant was empty. So I was a bit like, ah, oh, okay. And he just stared at me when I was eating. He literally stared right at me. And it was quite off-putting to say the least. So I just ate as quick as I could and then got the fuck out of there. Okay, so I'm getting to my restaurant now. So I'm gonna continuously film from the moment I order to how long it comes. So I'm gonna order and put it back and a chai. Okay, so I've ordered. First off, he brings me the water. Thank you. Pretty much, I've just ordered. He brings me the water straight away. So, let's see how long it takes from ordering to getting my food. So what I order is something called a puri bhaji. I'll show you when it comes. It's like a fried dough flatbread that puffs out. And then they give you a couple of things to dip it into. One of them's really nice. I have no idea what it is. It's like, it's like a, seems like, like a yogurt and cheese type dip, 
and then you get more of like a corey based type dip and then you just tear the bread apart dip it in and eat it it's something i have pretty much every day for breakfast not always in this restaurant but a lot of restaurants do it and uh yeah it's really good perfect for what you need in the breakfast true authentic indian breakfast so how long ago did i order it you can tell me on the video and there we go how long was that 20 seconds that's what you do you just tear it's like a really it's like a really soft type bread so you just tear bits off dip it in and it's so good and this whole breakfast thank you just brought me my tea and this whole breakfast including the tea cost one dollar the one dollar breakfast that you eat with your right hand and you use your left for cleaning your ass and I think a lot of people look at me because I'm naturally left-handed so I naturally eat with my left hand and I get stared at anyway in this place but I sometimes wonder if when I'm eating people think oh my god he's eating with his left hand but that is what it is I don't care I don't wash my ass with this hand so there we go let me know in the comments do you think this is worth one dollars and would you try it as well even if you weren't exactly sure what it was because that's what i did the first time i just picked something off the menu it happened to be this and then i stuck with it ever since i try other things obviously but this is my go-to breakfast my go-to one dollar breakfast here in india so i've just done my one dollar breakfast and I'm joined by Arijit who's a, an, an Indian man from Calcutta who's just came to sit with me we just had a very interesting conversation and I'll tell you about that very soon but yeah my breakfast was done the one dollar breakfast so that was quite the interesting uh, conversation just quickly though Man United. It was a much better one than the experience I was telling you about before from yesterday because that really made me quite uncomfortable. But the experience then, bless him, he was quite a sweet old man. And obviously, men from the older Indian generation are really quite different to, let's say, someone of my generation from the West. And I think because of my age, people always assume that you're married. So the first question is, you travel with your girlfriend? So as I explained to him that I travel solo, that you know I come here for quite a few months and I like to travel solo. And then he just started asking me about, but what about my sexual urges? And honestly man, like Indian, Indian men have no chill. He was basically saying, so you see prostitutes? <laughs> so what? What, how did we get to that? Basically, if I don't have a woman with me, I must be seeing a prostitute. That's pretty much where it led to. Bless him though, but he was a really, really sweet old man. So I never, I just took the conversation away more about life and you know how we have very different views on life. But anyway, that's how my morning was. My one dollar breakfast. Really enjoyed it. Really quite enjoyed the company. So until next time. Give me a like, a subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you on the next one.